Hello Patron Racing fans, this is Guy Cosmo, Extreme Speed Motorsports, and uh, I'd like to talk a little bit today about distractions and mental preparation as a race car driver. And one of the biggest things that we face on race day is not only battling it out with 50 other maniacs on the racetrack trying to uh, get in front of us or behind us, it's really me trying to get in front of all of them, but uh, it's everything else that goes on throughout the day. We've got autograph sessions, driver's meetings, team strategy meetings, debriefs, entertainment at the Patron Hospitality Tent, which is quite a good time if you haven't been there. Come to one of the races and come check it out. And then, uh, you know, garage tours and then uh, setup assessments and all this stuff, you know. And then throughout the course of the day, it's like, all right, well, I'm sweating my brains out because I've been out in the sun for four hours and I'm supposed to hydrate as much as I can before the race starts and a lot of things going on. So one of the things that I have to uh, do mentally is, is just try to prepare myself and get myself calm and as prepared as I can before the race starts. And usually the only way to do that is to just try to find a few minutes of time outside of all the excitement that's going on and uh, just sit, relax a little bit, and, uh, and just prepare yourself for everything you're about to do. And uh, I do a lot of driver coaching and training of drivers that are trying to get into the sport or are currently racing at amateur or pro levels. And one of the biggest things I always tell them is you don't want to be surprised when you first leave pit lane and you drive around for that first lap around the racetrack and have to remember everything that's taking place because you got there and you went, oh yeah, I forgot that there's a huge curb at turn two or that the exit of turn four is really slippery. So you'd like to sit down and run through everything that you're about to do in your head before you get out there and do it, which is probably applicable to any sport that you could participate in. Uh, it's just knowing what you're about to do and knowing the task ahead so that way you're prepared and you're ready for it. Our number one concern with driving race cars is every time we want to get in, we don't want to have to slowly get back up to the pace that we left off when we got out of the car in the previous session. We need to get in the car and not only be as good as we were the last time, we need to be better. And we're trying to create this out of thin air. How am I going to hop in this car right now and go faster than I've ever gone before? I don't know, I've never done it before, so I can't tell you exactly how it's going to be done, but when I review mentally what I'm going to do, everything that I have done, how I think I can improve, different sections of the track, you know, every inch of the pavement and asphalt that's out there, curbs, bumps, cracks in the road, anything like that. It's, uh, it's something that as long as I've got that prepped and ready in my head, I can expect it when I get out there. I won't be reminded by it, and that's the big key. One of the big things we have with Ed Brown is my teammate, again, Ed, not a pro race car driver, kind of busy running Tequila Patron, but uh, he does a great job behind the wheel, but one of the things that he's very good at watching videos, reviewing the data, and then he'll sit down and he'll find a quiet place and he'll close his eyes and he'll just drive laps in his head to get himself prepped and ready. And as a testament to that, when he showed up here for the Long Beach Grand Prix in our very first practice session, within the first six lap he drove, he went a full second a lap faster than his fastest race lap here last year, which is an incredible improvement for a guy that hardly drove before he did that. So all of that mental preparation he did was a testament to you know him being prepared and ready and boom, the result was there for him. So now, you know, got a lot of activity here in the Patron tent. We've got a lot of Patron racing guests and friends and relatives and family members and a lot of stuff happening. Media, interviews, hot out. Everybody's having fun. We're having a great time, but geez, there's a, there's a lot going on. So I'm going to wipe all this out of my memory pretty soon. I'm going to start focusing on my task ahead and uh, hope that I don't forget anything, but I think I'm going to be well prepared.